welcome back today I will be showing you how to take the uh, DRLs out so I've taken out the side it's basically two screws one over here one over here the second one over here okay there are two screws you can see the same thing on the side this one and this one these are the two screws that are the nuts that hold the DRLs but then there is another two parts so here's a DRL you have two clips see these two clips that go into these holes one first hole second hole okay so these two clips first clip and the second clips go into these holes and you have this thing over here it's kind of a small jam thing a hook which goes into this plastic see that white thing it goes into that and gets jammed in there maybe you can see I'll try and show you from the other side mm, I don't think it's possible let's see okay see that's the white thing and the lift the that's the lock so that's how the DRL is taken out and also also the other thing is this DRL slides in slides in and then goes down okay so this part slides into the grill okay and these this hole has to align with the DRL inside okay so there these types of tap screws are there which 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 I have taken out from these two ends and this first one so that I can move the grill so when I'm so if I want to take out this side I will have to again take out these two and this one so for that for that I would use the these kind of panel removals so that you don't damage the paint or the tip insert it into it and just try it open ok so that's out one you try it in it's kind of a difficult the first time you take it out next time you try it will be a little loose so there you are I have a second one out I'll just take out the third one and the two it's a ten and um, box I just uh, remove the screws the nuts and that push screw just give me a second and remember once you take out the screws here and this one the front one will have another washer beneath it so don't lose it so when you you don't notice that you can you it's simply easy to lose it okay see this so be careful not to lose this washer okay this one here here there's nothing there but here there's a washer on top of top top here and then at the bottom also you have one each on the top and bottom so just just wait I'll just take off the clip and 
so now I've taken off these two this one and the two screws now it's time for us to pry it open so as you know you have two clips that go into the bumper and a small white uh, holder there you go this one I'll try to show you this this white thing see that white clip over there that's a lock okay so now I don't know there's a double side tape I don't know why they have stuck it there it sticks onto a rubber bush there see this side I don't see any rubber casing okay it is there see this piece over here it is fallen down okay so be careful of this piece also huh? I didn't see it so this is why they have stuck the double side tape for this piece to stay there okay so I'll keep the safe down here and so be careful not to lose this piece too hope you can see that this double side tape over here see that's a double side tape okay so we'll try it open from here So pry it open slowly and then what you do is slide it, lift it from the side and slide it out. Okay. And you have the the other connection here. This red tip you have to pull it out. The lock is like this. Pull the red lock down, push it backwards, and then press the black tip here down, and then slightly shake it off. It should come out. That's it. So here's your two clips and the lock that's how you take out your barrels there's a lock again and the two holes for the clips anyways that's how you take out the barrels thanks for watching